I'll tell you what, engineering's busy, isn't it? I always thought we were busy. And when you see the lineup, you just realise all the see different where we come gone from. from. Yeah. Down in to 30 there. years where we come through. Yeah, yeah. it's incredible, it's isn't it? It's pretty awesome, isn't it? Yeah. So throughout the 90s, really, you know, the start of the 90s and by the end of the 90s, a few models in between. Yeah. But this Peach, you know, 3185, what an iconic tractor. Of course, by then, front linkage had taken off a bit more, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah. You see this. Still on coil springs, like Ian said, on the front. It was more laterally, we went to hydraulic suspension actually on the front, just to control some of these front linkage loads. As Ian said, this tractor still ran in mechanical steer box, but, but through the 90s, this other smaller model evolved, really which started as the 1100 series. And um, was that sort of an aim to get back to something a bit more lightweight, a bit that's more nimble? That's right. If I remember rightly, 50 kmh tractor. Yeah. I think originally two wheel steer, but soon became four wheel steer with the brand name Quadtronic, which was the name, you know, we, yeah. we like Tronic here at JCB. So we brand name Quadtronic was the name for the four wheel steer system, yeah. uh, which I think we introduced in 96. So that really that then bore, born this smaller range of what became the 2000 series. Right. Um, this was a hydrostatically steer track, so hydraulic rams on the steering. Um, so, so it went slower, it was 50 kilometers an hour. So some of those um, suspension link arrangements are slightly different on this, but still ran an anti-roll bar. You can see quite a small anti-roll yeah, bar. Yeah. Now we run a 30, 80, 42 mil roll bar. So quite a small roll bar on this. Still quite a light frame tractor. <laughs>